Adam, without looking at the film, which you usually do, obviously, but what do you assess about Sam today? It looked like it was kind of just obviously to get a team in the end zone and he had his three weapons for the first time. And Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to know exactly kind of the flow of the game. It felt one way in the first half. You know, I felt like we had an opportunity on one drive. We have a drop. And then it was we were we sputtered ever you know after that um, we had a couple plays here and there but nothing where we sustained any drives. I'll definitely, I mean we'll look at this thing. We'll we'll correct off it. We'll learn from it. Um, I felt like he was throwing the ball well. You know we just we just got to look at it. I mean this is, this is a tough secondary to go against. You had a couple fourth downs in the third quarter there where maybe you could. Take a take a chance there and maybe try to you know spark things a little bit. I'm not talking about the, sh the fourth and one, but the two before that. What was your your thought process about just kind of maybe trying to make something happen there on the Miami side of the field and, and not doing it? Yeah, I, you know, and I'm trying to think of which ones you're exactly talking about. I think it was like a, a fourth and nine, and uh, it was right. It was after the one of them was right after the uh, the, the Quinn and fourth fumble there. Yeah. I Thought about it. I mean, the fourth, any any of the fourth and nine ones, those are those are always going to be tough for me to to justify in my head unless it's really late in the game. Right before um, that, right before that, there was a fourth and three from the forty-three. Yeah, that, yeah. That, I mean, I I debated it. It just was one of those deals where I felt like I called what I thought was one of our better plays to play before. You know, we we don't we don't make it, and you know, just felt like that was the right decision at the time. Adam, why did you take over the play calling? I didn't take over. We did this. We've done the same thing the last four games. We, we were watching Dowell for the whole game. He wasn't doing anything. I mean, he was just standing there. He he tells me it's not hard. This is not hard. We go through it the, the drive before. Hey, these are the three plays. I do the third downs. So what happens after the three plays when you have a series? Because we were watching one where Dowell was talking to Frank Pollock. He wasn't calling the plays you were. What part of the game was it? I want to say that was the third quarter. Yeah, when we got down, then I, I was trying to do some of the two-minute stuff. What were your thoughts on Sam's first interception? I'm not really sure what happened. I, I don't know if he thought Crowder was going one way when he threw it, and then Crowder went the other way. Um, you know, obviously, I, I wish we didn't throw it. Yeah, I mean, but how disappointing. I mean, it's a, you're in field goal range at that point. It's third down, and he's throwing it across his body. I mean, shouldn't he know better by now? Yeah, we just, we just got to we gotta get those fixed. Can't have those, those turnovers. Why do you think he's still making those same mistakes in year three, Adam? You know, sometimes, I mean, this being his first game back, I, I think he's trying to trying to make something happen. You know, it's it's. I'm, I'm sure he's frustrated when it feels like we're not moving the ball, and he's trying to make some plays. And you know, especially when 82 is somewhere in the picture. You know, he's he's trying to make it happen, make something happen. Adam, Adam at 0 and 11. I guess, how do you make a case that, that you're still the right guy to lead this team? Well, our guys are battling. I try to get better every day. I mean, it's it's frustrating because I feel like we're we're right there. We got to make one or two plays, and I, especially this this last game, it's 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 right there for us, you know. And there's been multiple games like that, and you know, it's frustrating for myself, all the players. I know the fans, everyone's. I mean, everybody's frustrated. You know, we're trying to find ways to get it right. We're playing, we play tough teams and we got to find a way to beat them. We've seen instances of head coaches losing their jobs in the middle of the season. It just happened a couple of days ago with uh, Detroit. Is that a concern of yours? Uh, hmm. I'm not going to be concerned about anything with that. It's I, I can control one thing and that's making sure I, I come to work every day and, and try to do the best I can with, with our guys and, and put them in the right position and you know, try to help them get better. Adam, what happened with Alex Lewis? Uh, it was a team decision to make him inactive. It was non-injury related. 
disciplinary? Uh, it's just a team. We're going to handle everything internally. Adam, 24 nothing the first time in Miami, 20 to 3. This time, why is it so difficult to score points against the Miami Dolphins? Because they have one of the top defenses. I mean, it's they're they're tough. Those corners are tough. You know, they do a good job mixing up their fronts and their defenses. We just didn't we didn't take advantage of any opportunities when we had guys open. You know, we didn't hit them when we when we made some good throws. You know, we didn't we didn't finish the play. It's just they're a tough defense to go to. You have very very small window of error. You, you guys only faced two uh, during that final series in the first game. None today. What's the difference between preparing for him that you've seen on um, film and preparing for Ryan Fitzpatrick? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Fitzy's Fitzy's always tough to go against because you're never really sure what what he's going to do, and he can recognize it's it's hard to disguise against him. He understands leverages. There's a lot of things that he understands because he's played so much football. You know, when you're playing a rookie quarterback, you you might be able to get away with disguising some things, trick him into some stuff, get him to turn the ball over. Um, you know, Fitzy, you're not going to be able to do that.